Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for being with us today. My name is Fabian and I'm a co-founder of Keyless. Today I'd like to talk about how breakthroughs in biometric authentication solutions offer unique ways to transforming digital payments and the banking industry. And not only how we as users access and authenticate to digital applications, but also how we manage our digital identities altogether. Let us start with the underlying issue. Passwords are a huge problem. And let's face it, we all hate them. An average data breach can cost up to $4 million and more than 80% of those go back to lost and weak credentials. A simple password reset can cost an enterprise about $70. And in the recent months of the pandemic, we've seen phishing attacks skyrocket with more than 600% increase. But we also see a trend that goes passwordless. Gartner predicts that about 60% of large and global enterprises and 90% of mid-sized enterprises will implement some passwordless methods. And this goes into solving that long lasting trade-off we see in authentication and identity management more broadly, which is the trade-off of user experience and convenience on the one side and privacy and security on the other. But that trade-off doesn't just exist within the enterprise, even more so with us consumers, where we rank security a top priority, particularly when it comes to money-related applications, such as mobile and digital banking. On the other side, when it comes to working on our emails or accessing our social media platforms, we'd rather have it more convenient and prioritize user experience over privacy and security. In the enterprise context, we're seeing passwordless authentication as one of the main trends today. On Gartner's Emerging Technologies and Trends Impact Radar for security, in addition to passwordless authentication, there's that concept of zero trust networking, so identity-based security, which all goes back to ensuring that the right person at the right time is accessing the right resources in the right context. And more in the future, we're seeing this um, trend or paradigm of decentralized identities, which we call personal identity management that puts users in control of their own identities and allows them to selectively disclose their own identity information in a private and secure way. In the context of passwordless authentication, we're seeing several key trends that facilitates that. A more and more mobile workforce and a more heterogeneous um, way of working from remote locations, from various devices that offer or require new ways for authenticating and onboarding remote employees. And also the interoperability across these devices in a rapid digital transformation environment into the cloud. And biometrics facilitate a great means for making this unique and identity-based in the context of authentication, where user experience is also improved from a one-touch, a one-look process. Growing fraud and cybercrime at the same time with the increase in social engineering attacks, cyber attacks, and first and foremost, phishing in the banking context or payments context, um, biometrics offer a great means for overcoming that challenge in identifying the individual who's making a transaction and certainly privacy and security regulations that facilitate strong authentication under PSD2 open banking or GDPR in the sense of how our biometric information is processed and stored. A brief introduction on ourselves and Keyless. We are a deep tech cybersecurity company providing passwordless authentication solutions that are based on our proprietary privacy preserving biometric authentication technology that combines privacy enhancing technologies with modern biometric authentication methods to allow businesses to authenticate their users across every device without having to store biometric data anywhere, not on the devices and not in any central database, which essentially authenticates or identifies the individual rather than the device, the possession of a device or the knowledge of certain credentials. And we do this across two lines of product. Workforce authentication, eliminating passwords for employees end-to-end, -end, 
and consumer, strong consumer authentication in the context of payments and open banking, where we offer the technical capability for businesses and banks to be embedded into their consumer facing apps to strongly authenticate their users with a simple look in any front facing camera without the need to copy paste pin codes or switch to an additional soft token or secure banking app to authorize and perform the multi-factor authentication process when making transactions. When we look at the evolution of authentication, we've come from passwords as the sole and single factor over added layers of security in the form of hard tokens or soft tokens to biometrics as we know and use them on a daily basis uh, with our touch or face ID systems um, that are local authentication technologies to a future that we see centered around privacy, a passwordless future um, that puts us people in control of our identity information and allows us to conven conveniently, securely, and privately authenticate and manage our identities. We at Keyless introduced this world's first privacy-preserving biometric authentication and personal identity management platform that allows you to authenticate people, not devices, not passwords. And this addresses the fundamental limitations we see with biometrics today, which are either local, dependent on a device, and are rather unlocking or securing the device itself rather than identifying the individual. The phone doesn't know who you are when you enroll uh, your face or anyone, other, uh, anyone else's face on your phone. So doesn't do the bank who you're authenticating into. The other way of facilitating uh, a strong biometric authentication process requires the, pr the processing and storage of biometric information in a central database where that biometric matching is happening. And this from a privacy compliance and security perspective is far from ideal. So the solution we propose with Keyless is a unique combination of privacy enhancing technologies with modern biometric authentication methods in a fully software only approach that offers multi-factor security by design and authenticates the person in addition to the device across every device independent of the underlying hardware or operating system and far exceeds strict privacy compliance um, requirements under GDPR or similar regulations and embraces requirements for PSC2 strong customer authentication in the context of open banking with a simple one look process across every device. This technology has been recognized by Gartner as one of the hype or innovative technologies in the context of identity and access management last year for biometric authentication in particular and conceptually transforms a user's biometric input when looking or using a particular device into a private key that can be used for a one-time operation, such as authorizing a payment and strongly authenticating or logging into a service or even signing a document or performing a cryptographic claim about one's identity, after which that secret disappears. But important to note is that no secret key material, no password or biometric data is stored on the device. Neither do we hold any sensitive information in a central database. But every authentication you make is a multi-factor authentication with a simple look into the camera. Let's imagine you're making a transaction. When you send that payment and you initiate that authentication, um, the process I'll go through happens in the background. First, we verify the device. And again, this can be any device you wish to use independent of the underlying hardware or the operating system. The only requirement we have is a simple front-facing camera. We then read that biometric input. So the user looks into the camera. Will we ensure that the user is a real human and not a video or picture? This happens passively in the background as well. We are then extracting these biometric features and we are transforming the signal on the device, meaning we split it in pieces and irreversibly encrypt these pieces on the device. We're then, we're then taking these encrypted charts that we generated out of the user's face and match them in the encrypted domain through a cryptographic protocol, whereby the result of this computation isn't just a simple binary yes or no, but in the case 
uh, that authentication is positive and you're really you and using one of your devices that you've linked to your account, you're reconstructing your private key on your device for a one-time use so you could log into a service or authorize that payment, after which uh, that secret disappears again. So there's nothing that is sensitive that we store and hold on the device, but there is also nothing in a central database that the business needs to protect and secure. But every authentication is multi-factor by design. Combining a possession factor, the device you're using that is verified in the background, independent of the underlying hardware or the operating system, the user's face as a physical biometric, an inherence factor that also ensures the liveness of the user. And in the second half of this year, we'll be introducing behavioral characteristics such as gestures, the way you hold your phone or swipe on the screen as an added layer of security, assuring the privacy and the unique um, identity of the user in every authentication. More broadly, we're seeing this transition from authentication to a new paradigm of managing our own identities. And in particular, from a trajectory from passwords to private universal biometrics to that future of identity that puts users in control. So a user-centric identity model that allows us as individuals to selectively disclose our identity information and all this in a more private and secure way. But in order for this paradigm to function, cryptographic key management operations have to be done in the background. And what our technology provides is that unique link from you as a human being to your cryptographic keys that are stored on a public key infrastructure for identity and can be referenced um, alongside standards that are currently being created, so-called decentralized identifiers. And we can provide this operation through an interoperable unique and seamless biometric authentication process. But coming back to the here and now, today we offer our solutions across two major lines of product, one being workforce authentication as a zero trust passwordless authentication solutions for the enterprise, allowing employees to access their workstations, connect to enterprise applications or corporate networks through accessing their VPNs without passwords in a seamless and secure way. Consumer authentication, where we offer an SDK, so a white label capability that banks and wallets can embed in their consumer facing apps to strongly authenticate their users in a PSD2 compliant way without the need to copy paste pin codes from an SMS or email or switching to another secure banking app to perform that required multi-factor authentication process. And looking ahead, we're excited about these personal identity management capabilities of selectively disclosing identity information in a secure, private, and seamless manner through a biometric authentication process. When we look at the workforce authentication solutions, the product we offer is the Keyless Authenticator, an application that seamlessly integrates with existing identity infrastructures um, and facilitates passwordless access to um, the identity provider and enterprise applications to the desktop it itself, either through the um, use of a companion device, so mobile phone, or the built-in camera of the laptop without the need to using a mobile phone and remote login when connecting to VPNs or remote desktop protocols. And the user experience is incredibly simple. The login box today, in this example with ForgeRock as an identity provider, the user simply inputs their employee email address, clicks on a login button, receives a push notification on their mobile device, or leverage this built-in camera of the laptop, presents their face, and is authenticated. And again, this already is a multi-factor authentication process, combining the device identity of the mobile phone with the user's biometrics in a distinct manner. But we can also use this for accessing the workstation itself. And again, this offers the same simple user experience with a click on a sign in button, a push notification that is approved, the look into the camera, and uh, the workstation is accessed, no passwords involved. And this is, yeah, the same seamless experience. Um, across every device, independent of the hardware 
or the operating system. And you can get going in minutes. Um, we have pre-built integrations with all major identity providers and partner so you could get started with minimal friction. On the consumer side, we offer a mobile SDK, predominantly for PSD2 compliant, strong customer authentication. But because we are doing more than mere biometric authentication and manage cryptographic keys, this could also be used for electronic signatures, leveraging users' face biometrics, and again, independent of the device. So make it interoperable across every operating system and hardware uh, device. Whereby the user experience is very simple. The user, uh, when making a transaction, um, doesn't have to copy paste the pin code from an SMS or email or switch to a different application to perform that multi-factor authentication process, but simply remains in the app, looks into the camera and authenticates in a PSD2 compliant fashion with a seamless unified experience across every touch point and every device. And again, this addresses the fundamental limitations we see with biometrics today, offering the same user, ex the same security and privacy considerations of local authentication technology that marries me as a user to only one device that I can use where I have my biometric template enrolled with the universal intraoperable user experience that centralized authentication offers without having to store or process biometric information anywhere, far exceeding the requirements of GDPR and similar privacy uh, regulations. And the benefits that we offer is that you authenticate the person, not just the device. And you essentially identify the individual across every touch point. In addition to that, the user only needs to enroll their biometric template once and can use it across all of their devices in every touch point, offering the same experience on an iPhone 6, on an Android device, or a Windows workstation. One exciting example comes from the education context with Lewis University, which is one of Italy's top schools where students are using the Keyless Authenticator app to access virtual exam sessions and remote education courses. And this example, <clears throat> very much highlights the unique capabilities of authenticating the person rather than just the device. Whereby the school wanted to get rid of passwords as these credentials are shared among students to access someone else's exam. But local authentication technology also doesn't offer a solution because I couldn't enroll anybody's face on my phone and claim that um, I am who I claim to be with just being in possession of my device because the service I'm authenticating into doesn't know who I am, but just knows that this is the device that is registered with that account. Whereby with Keyless, we truly identify the student rather than just the possession of the device. Another example is a European digital bank who's using Keyless for both their workforce and their consumers. One example with VPN access where the company wants to ensure that the employee who is accessing the sensitive data and applications in a remote setting is truly the individual. So we're identifying the employee um, when accessing uh, the corporate network. And that same capability is used for contactless payments with their consumers, which is currently being piloted. I thank you very much for your attention and look forward to being in touch. Please visit our website under keyless.io and reach out to us. Um, we'd be very much looking forward to having a conversation with you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead.